discriminant analysis. It is a multivariate technique used to separate two or more groups of observations. That is individuals based on K variables measured on each experimental unit that is sample and find the contribution of each variable in separating the groups. This model is made up of discriminant functions for more than two groups. A set of discriminant function that is premised on linear relationship of the predictor variables that provides the best discrimination between the groups. There are two types of discriminant analysis, linear and quadratic. In addition, the prediction or allocation of newly defined observation to previously specified groups may be examined using a linear or quadratic function for assigning each individual to existing groups. This can be done by determining which group each individual belongs to. Samples are to be free, one another and independent. The variables used as predictors should have a multivariate normal distribution and the variance covariance matrix for each group should be the same. This basis on this assumptions I'm telling you, it is pre presumable that cases cannot correspond to more than one group since group membership is considered mutually exclusive. That is no case belong to more than one group. That means all cases are member of a group. If group membership is based on values of a continuous variable, then consider using linear regression to take advantage of the richer information. The procedure is most effective when group membership is a truly categorical variable. Let's understand these two types, linear and quadratic. What is linear discriminant analysis, often known as LDA? It's a supervised approach that attempts to predict the class of dependent variables by utilizing the li linear combination of the independent variable. It is predicted on the hypothesis that the independent variables have a normal distribution, continuous and numerical, and that each class has the same variance and covariance. Both classification and conditionally reduction may be accomplished with the assistance of this method. Quadratic discriminant analysis. It is a subtype of linear discriminant analysis, LDA, that uses quadratic combination of independent variables to predict the class of the dependent variable. The assumption of the normal distribution is maintained, even if it does not presume that the classes have an equal covariance, the QDA process produce a decision boundary. So here, the application is not only possible to solve classification issues using discriminate analysis, it also make it possible to establish the informativeness of the particular classification. Businesses use this discriminant analysis as a tool to assist in gleaning meaning from data sets. This enables enterprises to drive innovative and competitive remedies supporting the consumer experience, customization, advertising, making predictions, and many other common strategy purpose. The human resources function is to evaluate potential candidates' job performance by using background information to predict how well candidate would perform once employed. Based on many performance metrics, as industrial facility can forecast when individual machine parts may fail or require maintenance. The ability to anticipate market trends that will have an impact on new products or services is required for the sales and marketing.